to them. Okay, so I'm very annoyed because I just saw a TikTok and I was gonna stitch it, um, but it didn't allow stitches. And then I was gonna just film this and tag her in the description, but I lost the video, my thing like refreshed and it went away. So let me just summarize basically what she was saying. Basically, it was a Muslim convert and she was saying that she's been Muslim for about three years and she just wanted to be realistic about like her progress as a Muslim and um, the fact that it's not always what it looks like um, on social media where you see people converting and they just like progress so much so quickly and she was saying that wasn't the case for her and that you know it's been three years and she hasn't even barely read any Quran she's still struggling to learn how to pray and things like that which is totally normal like it does take time and I get those feelings of like um, I guess yeah imposter syndrome or feeling like you're not doing enough you haven't learned enough so it's like who are you to say you're even like Muslim type mentality now let me preface this by saying this is going to be a very unpopular opinion so please do not get triggered or offended I'm not trying to trigger or offend anyone I'm just saying that this how this impacted me and I know I know for a fact that this is not going to be the case for a lot of people and it could actually be harmful to some people or make things difficult in the long run but <laughs> I'm just saying it's something that works for me and I'll kind of explain why it might have worked for me, I guess, in my head. So when I first became Muslim, I pretty much put on the hijab straight away. So I was with family at the time that I converted in the summer, but then I went back to uni in the UK and I put on hijab as soon as I got dropped off at the airport. Um, and then I have not taken it off since, alhamdulillah, and it's been a struggle for me like definitely at times for sure not in the case of like wanting to take it off but like in disliking it for sure however i think the fact that i wore hijab and i continuously wore hijab in public and um you know in my, my normal day-to-day -day life it really pushed me to push myself in terms of my islamic knowledge and my muslimness because it forced me to identify with something that i had never identified with before on a daily basis and i genuinely think this is like an adhd thing so if you have adhd this might be useful to you but it's like you know that concept of like kind of out of sight out of mind that people with adhd struggle with is i feel like having the hijab on forced islam into my like consciousness constantly you know if that makes sense so it was like a constant reminder of like oh yes i'm muslim i should be doing these things i should be learning these things i should be practicing these things and it pushed me to do better as a muslim that being said i know there's people who have put on hijab they feel like too soon and then they get to a point and they kind of freak out and they end up taking it off and then it's really hard to put back on and everyone has their different kind of way of handling these things. I know this is not for everybody. I'm not saying it's for everybody. Yes, obviously we should strive to wear hijab as soon as we can and you know, just kind of jump in the deep end sometimes. I do think that is a good approach, but I'm just saying for converts specifically, obviously we it is okay for us to take our time and to learn and to grow and things. But if you're someone who kind of has that mindset of like, you struggle to keep up with things. Cause the thing is like, I'll be honest, if I did not wear hijab, <clears throat> it would have been very, very easy it would have been very very easy for me to fall back into my old life right i was in the same university with i had the same friends i wasn't friends with them anymore but a lot of that was because i wore hijab and to them that was weird and it kind of created this distance between us naturally so then i was like okay well now i need to seek out new friends so i found muslims found the muslim community i got really involved and it just kind of did this like immersion thing and i'm not saying that hijab is required to do that but it can be helpful in a way. And I feel like that is like a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And like part of the beauty of hijab is this constant reminder of your Muslimness. And this can go for born Muslims as well, not just converts, um, but especially for people who have never ever identified with the Muslim community. I feel like having the hijab is something that really does kind of give you this nice push into getting involved, you know? And I also want to say on this note, because I know people personally who have had this mentality of, well, I can't wear the hijab until I've done this, especially if I'm a convert, I should learn X, Y, Z before I wear hijab. Like who am I to wear hijab if I don't even know how to pray, if I don't know this, I don't know that. And that is so not true. Like that is so far from the truth. You don't need to fulfill all these requirements before you wear hijab. If you identify as Muslim, and if you are Muslim, if you want to wear hijab, wear the hijab. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Doesn't matter how much or how little knowledge you have it doesn't matter if you don't really understand it too much in the beginning you can still learn 
um, you know, you can grow with your hijab, if that makes sense. Um, anyway, again, I know this is not for everybody, so please don't lose your ish because I know some of you are very sensitive. Um, I'm not saying it's for everybody. I'm just saying for some people, if you're like me, it could actually be very helpful. 